Well, I like fire in general. Uh, it's one of the best part of my jobs. It's uh, really fun. It's interesting. Um, and uh, Oregon fighting fire in a different state is, you know, exciting and appealing. And I know that uh, the fires in Oregon are much more bigger and interesting and complicated. And, you know, it's like the major leagues for us. So, yeah, you invite us to play in the major leagues. So we're, we're We'll be happy to come. Just figure any time that you're given an opportunity, you know, for training to better yourself, you know, get more experience, um, get uh, more efficient with like what your position is, like you cannot say no. Um, and so uh, just knowing kind of y'all's background and the complexity of y'all's fire, like I feel like y'all are kind of like the, the best, you know, possible scenario for, you know, trainees to get that experience. First, it would be super cool to fight a fire that's not in Hawaii, but um, yeah. I know Oregon was kind of, they were getting a lot of fires. And so it, it was cool to just like be asked to like, oh, you guys want to learn and go help out and stuff. And like you guys set up is pretty similar for deployment, but it's just on a much larger scale. So we're kind of used to what we see. Like, and we, I mean, you know, it makes sense, but it's just, it's just, everything is just much on a uh, much larger scale. I learned a lot. Um, like I said, the fires that we have in, in Hawaii are, are, well, we, generally speaking, the fires in Hawaii are smaller than the fires we have here. Um, we get two or three fires a year, and, and, and so we don't get the reps in. Um, they're a lot less complicated, you know, in terms of um, staffing, you know, the resources, you know, um, and, and stuff like that. So when we come to here and, and we see everything on steroids, you know, how much bigger it is um, and, and, and how IC system is used and grown and to fit, you know, the situation, um, all the modules filled out, all the, te the positions filled out, you know, that kind of stuff, the org chart is, is filled um, and, and how to run something so complicated and, and, and um, make things work, you know, amidst the chaos. Um, I feel super honored and I'm like really stoked that we get to come out here and that you guys are willing to like take us in and just like teach us a bunch of stuff and yeah I'm super I'm excited and I'm glad that you guys <laughs> invited us out here. Learning from you guys you know how you guys do you know each of your sections you know each of us are assigned to you know each section chief so logistics planning um, operations I think on and uh, safety um, on this one. So hopefully we can all bring back a little bit um, back to our home island. Yeah, I feel very, you know, honored. Um, so I'm from Maui, specifically um, in Hawaii, and we just had that huge Lahaina fire and, you know, the upcountry fire, you know, that went with it. You know, we had five fires, you know, happening at one time. So, um, you know, knowing you know, the complexity and the number of fires that you have and like the the drain that it's having, you know, one on the staff, but then also the impacts that it has directly on the community is something that hits, you know, home deeply with me. So the opportunity, you know, to come and assist and help in any way, you know, possible, I mean, was, you know, kind of a no brainer because it was, It was, you know, devastating in a sense because, um, you know, we had um, actual crew members that were out fighting, you know, the upcountry fire, you know, in our forest reserve, you know, thinking that it was contained and everything was fine, but that's where they lived and that's where their family was at. Um, and so we find out, you know, whenever we return back from the line that, you know, they'd actually lost their house and he didn't have contact with his family, you know, at that point. So, you know, there was just so much you know, impact across the board. I mean, Maui is a small island. It's very community driven. And, you know, just, you know, being there, you know, with him, you know, specifically, you know, not knowing, you know, if his family was okay, that he'd lost his home, you know, while he was out fighting another fire, you know, just kind of puts everything in like a new perspective for you. We got people thinking and being more prepared. Um, I know for sure in our state, like, we never really used to have any commercials, maybe during like fire season where they have like advertisement reminding people like keep all your fuels down around your house like and weed whack and stuff like that. And now I see them like almost, I could see it weekly. <laughs> and I, I guess too now that the climate's changing, so like fire season is kind of year round for us on the island. So it's, it's good that people are more aware and they're doing their part. absolutely gorgeous first of all so um we drove in you know 
3.45 in the morning, you know, it's pitch dark. You know, we're driving from Portland to here. We didn't, you know, really know what we were getting into. And then the sun comes up and, you know, gorgeous, like rolling, you know, mountains, you know, uh, thickets of, you know, forests, you know, big tall trees, everything that's, you know, kind of very different than, you know, what we're used to, you know, in Hawaii. So, um, yeah, very picturesque, you know, nice, you know, landscape. And I can't say enough good things, you know, about the people here. I mean, you know, coming, you know, from the Pacific, you know, and, you know, showing up here, um, not knowing what to expect. Everybody has been super supportive, welcoming. Um, the knowledge that everybody has here at this camp is mind blowing. Yeah, I mean, everybody here is so nice and so great. And they're just like really helpful. And they're really patient because I feel like sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't know in the room, but everyone's really positive and like I like like I feel like that's how we thrive and like can learn better on it but yeah I'm just super thankful to be you, here you know you guys the, the community you know everybody's so supportive of, of us being here and you know any kind of questions we have they're always checking on us so you know the people here is pretty cool and I mean of course secondary seeing you know the nature the, you know all you guys is um, um conservation efforts is pretty cool too